I'll tear a sheet from the notepad into strips. They should do to get the fire to the fireplace. Let's give it a try. Now, hurry! And onwards! Come on, burn. Did you say something, Professor Weathervane? I, um, I'm just about to summon fire with my magic skills. Oh, fire, um, come here. Careful, Professor. Don't burn the whole tower down around you. Um, sorry. The result was great, but how did I summon fire when all I did was wave my wand about? I don't like that. Well, this should be interesting. The flames have turned green and the fire is suddenly cool. I guess it worked. It's not a normal fire anymore. It's cool and can take me anywhere on the fireplace travel network. I guess I just have to think of the symbols that are painted on the plan next to the library fireplace. Owl, worm, and rat. Owl, worm, and rat. Wow! Wherever the missing library is, I'm inside it now. Huh? Uh, hello? What is it? What does it want here? My name is Wilbur Weathervane. Who is speaking? It's scary. It should not be here. He's trying to break loose. Help! He has awakened. What does it want? Who, who are you? Uh, we are books, so, um... Yes, books. That is the word. And you're alive? Uh, that uh, is none of your business. What happened? I found the library and I heard noises. I guess that was probably you. Uh, the book is more powerful than the, uh, than the, uh, thingy. What's it called again? You know, um, for writing. Right. The book is mightier than the thingy. Um, okay, sure. Would you mind letting me get up? It's pretty uncomfortable, yeah? Haha, <laughs> never! But at some point you'll have to let me get up. Is that possible? Um, what? That we, uh, sooner or later have to let him get up. Um, no idea. The, uh, the answer to your question is, um, is, uh... Okay. 
Okay, I'll just lie here for now. Ha! Huh, exactly. Like, um... So, the missing library's your home? It, uh, isn't missing. It was here the whole time. Well, for the rest of us out there, it wasn't there. Out there? You know, in the school. J -j -sh shoe You know anything about them? I am. You wear them on your feet. So you mean your feet thought the thing here had disappeared? I'm not being funny, but you seem to be pretty confused to me. Confused? Ha! We are, uh, we, we are books. We, we know everything. All right, then. So come on, tell me. What type of books are you? Well, me? Uh, well, I'm a big, um, uh, a fee, uh, loss or fee book. <laughs> and my comrade here is, uh, thingy. I am a, um, you write words in it and explain them. Hey! Yeah, a written word explanation book. There's something pretty weird here. How about we try and figure out what's going on here? What do you reckon? You can't trust it. We don't know what it is. It is not a book. I say we throw it out the window so that its leaves are scattered to the four winds. I uh, think you're right. It has its own thoughts, and that is not a good thing. I think. Well, I think you're getting a little bit carried away with yourselves. Careful! It's tearing itself loose! Woo! Mm. It's uh, coming right for us! What a monster! <laughs> Look, you, I won't hurt you, but something really weird is going on here, and I am not going to let you throw me out the window. Uh, uh, make it go away. We don't like it. We know it not. It scares us. Nasty hobbit. I wonder if the books were always alive, or were they brought to life because of this place? And shouldn't books be terribly wise creatures? Why are the ones here so simple-minded? Strange. The writing is very pale and fuzzy. It's almost as if. Ah! Ah! <sighs> I have to get used to these living books. This wall, uh, this arch, it looks like a door belongs here, but there's only a wall. It's almost as if this room was hiding from the world. Or was it forgotten? This wall, uh, this arch, it looks like a door belongs here, but there's only a wall. The books have all retreated to the shelves. I don't know which ones attacked me. Listen! I won't hurt you. I've been looking for you. You and the library should come back to the school. Make it go away. It scares us. But I won't hurt you. How can I prove that? Uh, go away. Go away. Hmm, empty. Everything that might once have been in there seems to be spread across the desk. A note. This is a spell. I think it's even... Yes! The fire spell! The most important spell of all to a mage! I finally have it!
I need wood for a fireplace, and instead of burning books or a shelf, I'd rather have something that no one seems to use. If it weren't so scary here, the library could be a really nice place. I think it once was. You don't see doilies anywhere else in the school. Not sure this desk was meant for students. It might have belonged to the librarian. Looking at the tools, a large part of the work must have been the care and repair of books. Oh, this book is in worse than poor condition. The glue has given up the ghost and now several pages are missing. Here's one of the pages. I'll take it with me. That's the sixth sheet. I think there's only one missing now. Hmm, if I could repair the book, that might convince the other books that I mean them no harm. I would have to sew the missing pages together and then glue them to the book spine. Dum to doodle Huh? Do you know anything about book repair? I know everything. You have to sew the pages together, right? A few at a time. Correct. The so-called quires. And these quires are then glued to the book? Correct. For which you need wheat starch paste. Uh, I don't have any of that. Alternatively, alchemically manufactured adhesives or some natural products such as troll snot can be used. Troll snot? Correct. Troll snot forms the basis of many industrial adhesives. Thank you for this valuable and somewhat disgusting information. Cheers. Hmm. If I could repair the book, that might convince the other books that I mean them no harm. I would have to sew the missing pages together and then glue them to the book spine. Individual sheets aren't going to get me far here. I have to use a needle and thread to sew all of the pages into a choir. I could sew the pages into a choir later, but I still haven't found all of them. The wood is old and very dry. It would burn well. A finely crafted white doily. Useless, but pretty. Hello? How can I help you, Mr. or Mrs.? Enter username. Can you tell me how to get back out of the library? Enter and exit rooms through the corresponding openings in the wall region. Should none of these so-called doors be available, try using the smaller openings that do not reach to the ground. See also window. Slate, you say simple things in a really sophisticated manner. Wow, windbag. Okay, um, yeah, over and out. It's almost as if this room was hiding from the world. Or was it forgotten? No! Books should be read and not burned. Do you hear me? I would never burn a book. I love books. Did you make the library disappear? It should leave us alone. Maybe we can help each other. One hand washes the other. Hey, it wants to wash us, so the last bit of ink will blur. Oh! Ah! Ah! No, I... Hmm, talking isn't helping here. I just have to prove to them I'm their friend. I think the library goes even further up there. 
One can hardly see anything because it's so dark, and I don't see a ladder or a stairway that would lead up there. If the librarian wasn't some sort of monkey, I, I mean an ape, I don't know how he'd get up there. The fire spell can't burn long on its own. It's intended to ignite flammable things. It would be better if the headmaster never finds out about this. One or two blank sheets of paper out of my notepad should be enough. The journey through the fire network is anything but comfortable. You get sucked into a vortex and then there are openings everywhere. But somehow I still came out in the right fireplace. Igne Faxius Ignis Ferro. I'm slowly getting a hang of this. What did it do? It summoned the Red Devourer. That was the last of the fireplace travel powder, but I think it was enough. Don't have anything to talk to him about. I was in the library. It's fine, more or less. Really? Where is it? Well, it's it's not easy to get into. You just need a little bit of magic. Unfortunately, that is unacceptable. The library is a room like every other room in this building, and it has to live with the fact that staff and students may want to enter it in the conventional manner. Through the door. But, but how? I do not care how. Get the room back, Professor. And then I can finally return this loose page to where it belongs. Um... Hmm? That note you have there, it looks like a page from a book. Yes, indeed. It's an incomplete travelogue. The traveler, apparently a researcher, speaks of a country called Laputa. The arts, sciences, languages and crafts are revolutionary. Very exciting concepts, but unfortunately, the book is incomplete. If you give me the page, I might be able to find the rest of the book for you. Hmm, thank you. I'd like the whole story. I'm sure the tale will end well and will serve as a role model for us. Yeah, take it. Ta! Yeah. Oh. So, be my...
Hunter. Troll. The Hunter's Guild has asked us to find... It seems the Grump... Bernison, troll. Bernison of High Wind Lake managed to collapse the south wing of the school by sneezing. for a book. I have sewn the seven lost sheets together to form a choir. Now I have to glue the choir into the damaged book in the library. The moment I have no questions. Look here, isn't it pretty? Ugly. That's not true. Got it from my grandmother. It's an heirloom. And wow, it means a lot to me. Thank you for showing it to me. Ha ha! I tricked you. I wanted your snot in the cloth. Oh, wow! You're so great! Snot! Not you. Better to use the glue with the spine. Otherwise, I'd make a gross, sticky mess. <laughs> <laughs> 